ChatGPT has taken the internet by storm recently, and unless you've been hiding under a rock for the past few months, I genuinely don't see a way in which you haven't heard of this by now. In fact, I literally can't go onto YouTube nowadays without seeing some type of ChatGPT tutorial inside of my feed. And so, I was sitting down the other day trying to think of video ideas, and then it hit me. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT alongside Blender. So first of all, I want to give you some backstory. If you don't already know, inside of Blender, there are things called add-ons. These basically work as plugins, and when you checkmark them, them, they essentially add in a bunch of different functionality into Blender. Whether that's letting you create materials faster, adding in certain 3D models, whatever it may be, all of these add-ons work through Python. And if you aren't familiar with that, Python is basically a scripting language that runs a bunch of stuff. I'm not, I'm not very good at coding, but all you really need to know is that inside of Blender, you're going to notice there's a scripting tab. And if you click on this, you can create a new script and basically just code a bunch of stuff through Python. In fact, I've recently been able to create some of my own add-ons, which have helped tremendously in speeding up my Blender workflow. Now, if you can't already tell where this is going, basically, ChatGPT has the functionality to be able to generate Python scripts. And so basically, if you put two and two together, we can actually use ChatGPT to generate Python scripts to implement into Blender to then essentially do whatever you want. For example, I can simply type in, write a Blender Python script that will add in a bunch of 3D monkeys. I then hit enter, and it literally just generates all of this code ready to be copied and then pasted into Blender. And by the way, to do that, all you have to do is click on the script workspace, create a new script, and then hit control V. Now, if you hit the run script button, it'll do exactly what we asked it to do. And yeah, while this is kind of a dumb example, hopefully you kind of understand the true potential of this technique. You obviously can't use it to generate fully fledged Blender add-ons or anything, but for example, when I've been making all these add-ons for me to use in my Blender workflow, anytime I'm really stuck and can't find the answers to how to code something online, I can just ask ChatGPT, and within seconds, it gives me the answer in a really easy to digest manner. So yeah, really hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.